وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور بسم الله You're watching the mailbox I'm Yusuf Estes For the next few minutes we're going to be looking at some of these emails But I wanted to remind you that we have a website called Islam Mailbox where you can go there to get links to other websites, read some of the answers that we've already done, and leave a message for us and ask your question there too. We have real scholars who will help us give you the right answers on the Islam mail. Ah, here we go, here we go. says, okay, this is somebody who's basically talking to us. that said, you say that God created the universe just to see who is a good person and who's a bad person. Then you say he destroys everything, and then you say he recre recreates everything, and he gives rewards and punishes everyone. Uh, this is too much. It doesn't make sense to me. Okay, well, uh, actually, the way you said it doesn't make sense to me either, but that isn't what we say. But it, I understand you're trying to come up with the question relative to some of the things Islam teaches, and th that's very nice. Thank you for the question. Yes, Allah did create the universe, but he didn't do it to see because he already knows everything. Everything with Allah is already known. He has what's called the Qada and Qadr of Allah subhanahu ta'ala. This means that everything is written by Allah and everything is already known to Allah. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us that if Allah wanted to, he could have just thrown us into the hellfire or thrown us into the paradise according to what Allah created because he already knows what's in us before we ever did any of this. But the one in the paradise would be thinking, wow, I got here by something I did that was good, you know. And the one in Hellfire would be like, what did I do to get here? And in fact, the whole thing is going to come to this. Allah is going to have mercy on some. But none of us really deserve the paradise. None of us can even begin to pay Allah back for all of the good things that he's given us in this life or in the next life. And the list goes on and on. You get that on our website. But what I want to talk about here now is Allah's mercy because on the day of judgment, he's going to give full and total mercy to all of those who believed and did good deeds. Even if they made serious mistakes, he will still have mercy for them and forgive them. <coughs> but get the details of it on the site because you'll find out also that when Allah does destroy everything and bring everything back again, that this is a part of his plan and it has a reason known to him. It's outlined in the Quran in the tafsir or explanation of the Quran. The rewards and punishments are in direct proportion to the attitude and choices people make. Allah says, says clearly in the Quran, He's not going to put you through more than you can bear. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, tells us that a human being is going to be rewarded according to their intentions. And he says, that all of the actions are going to be rated according to intentions. So always have a good intention. <laughs> and always come back here to watch our program and check out our website at islammailbox.com. Till next time, peace. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you.